This video is going to show you some exercise options for treating patients with a frozen or stiff shoulder. So one of the movements that is most limited is external rotation, which is this movement. So we're going to concentrate on a couple of exercises that are going to help regain that movement. Additionally, a bit of abduction and external rotation. And these are going to be really important for our like racket sport patients, the ones that want to play a bit of badminton or tennis at the weekends. Additionally, just someone that wants to lift their arm up and put something in the cupboard as well, because if we don't have that ability to lift their arm and rotate it backwards, it's going to kind of be a no-go movement for a patient. So all you're going to need for these exercises is a towel and dumbbell. What I will say about these exercises before we move on, they would be more for the less irritable shoulder. So someone that's got a stiff shoulder for a long time, it's not too irritable, it's just quite stiff and it won't move very far. So you want a patient on their back laying relaxed, obviously I'll keep my head up so I can explain um, some of the instructions on the video. We'll have the towel underneath the arm, providing a bit of a bolster for the arm there. And we're not going to take the arm too far out, it's just going to be quite close to our body to start with the exercise. And what we want to do is just slowly drop out, making sure we're getting pure external rotation of the shoulder within a patient's pain-free available range or mild to moderate discomfort. We don't really want to be pushing into severe pain. What you'll find with patients with a true stiff shoulder is they'll get to a certain point and they can't go anymore and they'll just come back. Additionally, what you might see as a bit of a cheat is the shoulder wanting to cheat so it can get a little bit further. So you just keep an eye, make sure the shoulders against the floor and we're able to drop down and slowly come back. What you will find as well is when you test the affected side, the patient may only be able to go halfway, quarter of the way, and you have a look at the other side to see what that's like and it gives them a bit of a visual. The chances are if they've got a nice healthy shoulder they'll get full range of motion and that gives the patient, as I say, a bit of a visual to see how much progress they can make with the exercise and to know where the benchmark is. Sometimes during the exercise, what you do notice is the patient can go just that little bit further each time. You don't want to force it too much though, just go within the patient's limits. As the weeks go by, we can come into a bit more of an advanced position and bring the arm into a bit more abduction and do exactly the same, let the um, weight drop down to as far as it can go within the patient's limits and bring it back. With sets and reps at the start, I would always go just very lightweight, just a kilo, half a kilo, whatever the patient can tolerate, just to get some familiarization with the exercise. As the weeks progress, then you can start to look at your kind of higher weight, lower rep type exercises, but every patient will be different. They may get some benefit with the lower weight and endurance reps. Who knows, it is trial and error in this game. There is no one size fits all. Hope you found that video useful. Um, give us a comment or a like if you've got any other tips for frozen shoulders.